Okay, first day. It's gonna be so fun. Today we went to the little buffet breakfast, we had breakfast, and then went back to the room, kind of got repacked back up. Now we're just walking through town, waiting to check out of our room and check into our new one. But we have a three hour gap. <laughs> we're just kind of walking around town here. What we might do is right when we check out here, we'll put some suits on. And then when we check into our new hotel, we won't have room access to our room, but they can give us full access to the resort. So we might just put our bags in the car, go swim for a couple hours, and then we can check into our room. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have my ocean again. our first round of shave ice and Jason and I and someone else got a smoothie Abby got a smoothie Ashley what kind of sm uh, shave ice did you get um, for your first one and strawberry yum <laughs> red non makeup y face because it feels good to not have to worry about makeup and not be so hot and sweaty and worry about it but we are headed to our resort we are making this long moon like driving it is very weird to see so much lava rock and barren landscape especially because we're from the northwest but even like visiting Hawaii it's very strange to see so much like missing but we are going to our resort we're close to a check-in point where we can check in and use the pool um, we're just are maybe kind of hoping that we can put our bags somewhere so they don't have to stay in the car um, but we're gonna go and swim we kind of shuffled our bags around some of them the kids have even put their swimsuits on at the lights turn left <laughs> onto way Koloa beach drive then turn right onto ala my way we are now getting into the white Koloa um, area here up north of Kona and it's looking really beautiful. I, I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me. Getting uh, settled in. We don't get our room yet for a little while, so we're just sitting here. The girls are over there poolside hanging out. I'm gonna fall in. <laughs> Chelsea and Ashley are having fun going down the slides, and we're just. Gotta see your head over so they can show. Oh, I'm thinking falling. Anyway, we're having a good time, and ready to go over to the other resort and check that out as well. Call me please, call me please I, I fall in every 
I've got my little uh, swim bikini top on still, and my swimsuit is underneath that, or over that, but it's like folded down. So I gotta figure out how to get this to stay up. But I am not wearing a bra. This is a swimsuit. We are just, <laughs> we're in limbo still. Our room isn't ready yet. And we have been at the pool for almost two hours. And we have an hour left. And we're just changing in the car, oh, trying to get um, kind of situated. We came over to King's Land Shops, or King's Shops. Can I have water? Yep, you can. And we're just going to look around for something to eat, whether it's sit down or take out, I'm not sure. But we're just going to roam around and enjoy the sunshine. I honestly think it's going to feel good to have a little bit of a wet suit underneath and wearing a sundress. It's not normal for me to have like sleeveless and all that kind of stuff. And I actually should put some more sunscreen on if I'm gonna walk around like this. I'm used to having like full coverage t-shirts. So let's go and enjoy King's Shops. Told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give okay, you Okay, we're at Rip attention. Curl. What did you find? We actually found a lot of stuff, right Chels? I found so many things I want to get right now, but they're like $30 each. So. I know, we're waiting, we're deciding. We'll we'll but Ashley's out. is very effective for here, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get her a little hat. Super cute. I just don't know, I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Reach out to me. Okay, our room is finally ready. I, I hope. I hope it's finally ready. Well, now the parking's full. Yeah, everyone's back. Can't find a parking spot. I need to get a little bit more dressed to go to Costco, and the rest of the kids are going to relax and hang out in the room. All right, we finally have our room. It's now another hour later. It actually wasn't ready. Here is our kitchen right in the front. Plenty of room to cook our meals. Okay, through here we've got a cute little table nook, little bench on that side. We'll come over here to the living room. Our bags were brought up for us, luckily. And then the couch out here. This is a pull-out couch, so Ashley is going to sleep out here. I actually thought it was going to be one of those like, little tiny ones, but it's actually... It's a good size couch. Size. Yeah, and then there's, there's still a little section of couch left after the bed is pulled out, which is kind of nice. You can still like lay on the couch. Yeah. Right? All right, in here is our bedroom. This is the master. We've got a nice, big, huge bed. I'll show you the view out there in just a second. A little table and a desk. I can edit and do all my computer stuff at this desk. And that's a nice chair, actually. That's really nice. So we come around here, and we have a large bathroom over here. We'll never use the bathtub, especially so exposed like that. But we have a nice little shower. That is very fun. Oh, and this is nice. That kind of, a, okay, that's better. I like that. Okay, and then the rest of the bathroom, a little side bed, side room for the toilet, which is quite nice, actually. Okay. And two little sinks. You wanna take a bath? No, it's just, it's just a big tub. Okay, out here we have a view of the golf course. Okay, here is our lanai with a golf course view. That is pretty amazing. That is so fun. That is Queensland and Kingsland marketplaces over there on the other side of the golf course. And then on this side is the pool. You can hear everyone over at the pool. We have a nice table set up here. We can eat dinner outside, which I think will happen more often than not. All right, we're gonna give you a little honest glimpse into our reality here 
Um, little squabbles about the room situation, but we've got it figured out, and Jason and I are gonna head to the grocery store. We've got our Costco bags. They do not offer bags at the grocery store, so you have to bring your own. Okay, so this is the current situation for their beds. The couch had the nice little Chase lounge on this side, so she's made her bed over here. No one wants to sleep with this one. I mean, she's loud, she's a busybody. Yes. No one wants to sleep with her. No, the other night I was at the other hotel, I was trying to sleep, and she spilled all the blanket, so I had to like shove it over, and then all of a sudden, she just rolls over and just cuddles me. She's like, I know. She's kind of a beast. So she just cuddles me for like 30 minutes and I, I want to move. move. I know. So okay. Like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, but let me just kind of show you how we set things up because I always like to have things be real here on our channel. Little <laughs> moment there. Okay, this is our swim station. So everything swim related is going to come to here when it's dry. So we've got all of our sunscreen. We've got our snorkel masks. We've got our goggles. When the towels come out of the wash, they're gonna get folded and put back into these. We've got our cinch bags. So we're all set when we need to go swimming again. We have a kid's charging corner right here where they can leave their cord and then they can come and put their stuff back here when they need to charge. I have set up my editing and electronic station here and yes, this is a requirement for an editing station. When you edit late at night on vacation, caffeine will be provided shortly after our visit to Safeway. I will edit here because I do have a nice chair and then I will do the basic editing here and then I will go to the bed <laughs> when I get really, really tired. It's also a charging station. I've got the GoPro plugged in. I've got other stuff plugged in and waiting. I've already flown the drone. You'll have seen that footage. It's really fun. We've got our bathroom set up with me and Jason's stuff. We are not sharing a bathroom with anyone. This is ours. And we will be using these privacy walls to have some privacy when we come in here to use our bathroom. We will go ahead and shut those doors. We also have run out of some charging stations at my electronic desk. So we are charging and placing our Wi-Fi. This is our hotspot. We're placing that right here. And then I have an extra phone charger that I have plugged in here. We had macaroni and cheese ready to make for the kids while we were gone shopping. But we need milk and what do we need? Milk and butter. <laughs> so they've had to put off on making that. And these are the little bins that we brought. We need to wash those and be able to use those for lunches. We've got our shoe station right here. And then we have a washer and dryer. I didn't show you that earlier. We already need to put a load in. Why don't we have our fellow Jason go ahead and start our laundry for us? <laughs> We're tired. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Right, since today is more of a set up and get here kind of a video, I will include going to the grocery store and what we get. I think some people need to see like the reality of going on vacation and <laughs> that it's not all like, you know, cool drone footage and GoPro shots and playing in the pool. They were late getting us into our room, like like really late getting us into our room. So we had to sit in our car in the hot sun waiting to be able to get in and we were hot and tired and thirsty. We ran out of water. Anyway, so it was just kind of, and then everyone kind of got short with each other, and then the teenagers wouldn't share their room like they were supposed to, and that's why I haven't shown their room. They won't let me in. <laughs> that's the reality of traveling as a family, and it's all fine. We're all well, fine. The two older girls At the didn't... next traffic lights, turn right. The older girls didn't want to share a bed with any of the two younger ones. Well, yeah, and we're getting to the point where they're not the younger ones anymore. They're not the babies. They're not the toddlers. They're not the little ones. Chelsea is turning 12, it, like next week. And it's- At the traffic lights, turn right onto Queen Kahumanu Highway. And so our older girls just need to remember that they are not the queen bees anymore. And while we may need to end up getting a third bedroom when we go on trips like this, that costs a lot more. And when you have a pull-out couch, that is a legit bed for them to sleep in. 
but I don't see why the teenagers can't sleep on the pool bed. And that was our question to the teenagers. We're like, well, if this is so private and such a good bed, then you two are more than welcome to have it. There's no priority because you're older. You've always had the better bedroom. So I don't, I don't know. So that was kind of our argument this afternoon. But by the time we figured all that out, got into our room, got everything unpacked and where they needed to be, <sighs> Costco is gonna close in an hour and it takes like almost 30, 40 minutes to get to Costco. It's technically closed now. But it is closed now, but this was an hour ago and I did not want to rush Costco. I couldn't think through it, even though I have my list, you know, you guys know, I brought my mini list. <laughs> I am a list person. Um, I already know what I'm going in there to get, but it's a really big store and things aren't in the places that I normally know that they're in and we're not getting the normal things. And so I didn't want to rush it. I didn't want to rush it at all. So now we don't get to go to Costco and get all the stuff I would have gotten in bulk for all of our breakfasts, all of our lunches, some of our dinners. And so now I have to piece together what do I absolutely need to have tomorrow morning for breakfast and possibly lunch so we can enjoy our morning, go do something fun, probably go over to the other Hilton Resort and worry about Costco tomorrow night before six o'clock, obviously. <laughs> and uh, that, that I, I'm just kind of being real with you and we're gonna end our video here. I think the kids are gonna go out to the hot tub later tonight and then we're gonna shower and we're going to bed. And we're gonna start tomorrow morning with a fresh start. And so we're gonna close our night. If anything eventual happens, we will share it with you. So for now, mahalo and see you guys next time. Take care. I'll show you here at the end a little quick zip through of all the things that we got at the grocery store and a total. <laughs> Cause I think it's, people need to see a sticker shock on how much regular, grocery co regular groceries cost and why I'm not buying bagels at the grocery store. I'm going to wait and get them in the morning at Costco or tomorrow at Costco. Costco prices are mostly the same at any Costco. And so that is where we can save some money and regular shopping. So I will show you a quick little bit of that and then also a, a view of the coast. And we'll say goodnight to you guys. We'll spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.